myself, Dr. M. Maheswar Rao, Department of Civil Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Bundigat. Our course name is Fluid Mechanics and the topic is U-Tube Differential Monometer. So here, a monometer. A monometer is nothing but a device so to measure the pressure inside any pipe or uh, any de a device so which is having some fluid in it. So that fluid pressure can be measured using the monometer. So here it is a YouTube monometer. Here thing is the differential monometer. So same YouTube monometer, it is a differential monometer. The name itself showing that difference. That means if two systems or if two pipes are in two locations in a pipe, if it is connected by means of this uh, uh, YouTube monometer, then that is called YouTube differential monometer. So what is the output of this YouTube differential monometer means? The pressure difference between two points of the uh, pipe or any device we can measure. So difference of pressures. So normal YouTube monometer is giving the pressure inside a system. Differential monometer means it gives the difference of pressures between any two points. That is the today's topic. So before going to that, so the course outcomes. So the course outcome means what? It is nothing but the after completion of any topic, a student will be able to do something or understand some concepts. So here, course outcome one. That means the students will can define the fluids and properties. So and also surface tension in different conditions. So those knowledge will be uh, in the course outcome one. Similarly, course outcome two is the Newton's law of viscosity. So the fluids classification uh, is based on the uh, viscosity, Newton's law of viscosity. So Newtonian fluids, non-Newtonian fluids are there. And uh, problems related to the Newton's law of viscosity. So this knowledge is come under the course outcome. So course outcome 3 is the capillary rise or fall. So what is the capillary rise or fall means? Whenever you insert a smaller diameter of pipe in a system okay, or in a fluid, so the water uh, or fluid will rise in that smaller diameter of pipe comparing to normal level of that fluid, so which is called capillary rise or if the same smaller diameter pipe, if you insert in a fluid, some fluid will lower. So, so here is the actual level, here is the monometric, this is a smaller diameter level. So it is falling than the surface of the fluid. Okay. So that is called a capillary fall. So the course of country uh, belongs to this capillary rays or capillary fall. Similarly, course outcome 4 is the surface tension. So any fluid will have tension okay, at the top surface of that fluid. So it will have some tension, so which is called a surface tension because it is available in the surface. So and their applications will come under the course outcome 4. Course outcome 5. So is the capillarity and compressibility. So compressibility is means so if you take a fluid, if you apply external pressure, the volume will be decreased. Whereas the water, if you apply external pressure, the volume will not decrease. Okay. So whenever the volume changes are there, which is called a compressibility, compressible fluids. So whenever it is not compressible, that means water example. It is incompressible fluids. So, compressible fluids is the gas, incompressible fluids are the water. And course outcome 6 is the pipe flow. So, it is called 
fluid friction. So whenever we are allowing the fluid inside a pipe, so whenever it travels, the fluid travels, so there will be friction. So if it is a pipe material and this is a fluid, so they, the surface, the surface will have contact with this fluid. So there, because of the movement, two surfaces will get friction. So there will be frictional losses for the fluid from one point to another point. So, and pressure loss, energy loss will occur. So those knowledge will come under the course of term six here. Yeah. Today's topic is <coughs> YouTube differential monometer. So I already told you, so YouTube differential monometer is nothing but the, to know the difference of two systems. You can see this figure, so right side figure. So this is one system, one pipe, this is another system, another pipe, okay, or same pipe, different points, okay. So pipe A, pipe B. So here, pressure in the pipe A, PA, PB is the pressure in the pipe B. So before connecting this YouTube, it looks like this. Okay. So and the, the, the manometer fluid. So it may be a mercury or water or oil, depending upon the requirement. So it will be in the same level. So whenever it is connected, YouTube differential manometer be two systems. So then this fluid will initially here it is in the so it lowers here it is rises because pressure A. That means uh, pressure in the pipe A is more, that's why it lowers. So, monometric fluid will rise, uh, lowers in the left limb and rises in the uh, right limb. So, the difference of these monometric fluids in the left tube and right tube, so that gives the pressure difference in the two systems. So, pipe A, pipe B. So, initially we learned this is a U tube monometer. First one, left figure. This is a YouTube monometer. So initially it will be like this. This portion will not be there, and it is connected to one pipe. Okay. So because of the pressure in the pipe, so this fluid, monometer fluid, lowers here down. So here it rises. So here also the difference of pressure is H here. That is the pressure existing in the pipe. But here, YouTube uh, differential monometer, it is not giving the pressure existing in the pipe. It is giving us the pressure difference of pipe A and pipe B. The pressure difference it is giving. So that is the YouTube differential monometer. If you read this, the YouTube differential monometer is a device. Okay, it is a device. So what for it is measuring difference in pressures. So difference in pressures between two points. So if a pipe is there, you can connect here and here. So it is connected to YouTube differential monometer. Okay. So if you connect two points in a fluid system, it gives the difference of pressures. So widely used in fluid mechanics to determine the pressure differences. So main thing is that what is the pressure difference between the two points? So in your pipeline, maybe in a pipeline, hydraulic systems and various engineering applications. Various engineering application means it may be injury meter or face meter or any other device. See here, so this is a YouTube. So this uh, this is connected to one system and left limb also connected to another system. Okay, so then here the difference of uh, fluid, monometric fluid here getting so we will get the difference of pressures. So that means it is a differential manometer. So it gives the difference of pressures between the two fluid systems. So you can see here a venturi meter. So venturi meter, what is this venturi meter? It is nothing but so uh, it is a throat, it is called. Okay. So this throat is connected and normal pipe is also connected. Okay, by means of this YouTube monometer. So in order to measure the difference of pressures at point A and point D. So uh, you will get the difference of pressures. So initially uh, here it is uh, level. Okay. So after applying the pressure it goes down and here it is goes up. 
so that you will know the you can calculate the difference of pressures between the points uh, a and d in case of this venturi meter or any other device so construction how it is there youtube differential monometer it is also just like a youtube monometer but here is a differential monometer so it is also a glass tube so youtube monometer is also a glass tube bent in u shape so there also normal uh, monometer youtube monometer and a differential monometer is also both are in the u shape and both are in the glass tube okay so the tube is filled with the monometric fluid here also youtube monometer as well as youtube differential monometer is both are having fluid manometric fluid so it may be mercury so hydrogenum or maybe water or maybe oil depending upon the pressure range so if the more pressure difference is there okay high pressure range so then we can utilize a heavier fluid monometric fluid like mercury if it is lesser you can utilize as a water or even less you can utilize a oil here so two ends of u tube are connected to the points of where the difference of pressures to be measured so here this u tube monometers are connected to different systems here both ends are connected but whereas simple normal u tube monometer only one end is connected another end is free open but here differential monometer it is both the ends are connected to the two systems so that we can measure the difference of pressures between the two systems okay so and also usually mounted vertically so this u tube differential monometer normally it will be in the vertical direction as shown in the figure so construction of u tube differential monometer the choice of monometer play depends upon the expected pressure difference so so it needs the expected pressure difference if the pressure difference range is this so it is high pressure difference or low pressure difference or medium pressure difference based on that monometric fluid is selected okay the monometric fluid have a higher density here the thing is that whatever the system is having fluid the density of the fluid should be less than this monometric fluid so monometric fluid will have higher density always so then only we can measure the pressure difference uh, of that for two particular systems and working principle so just similar to the youtube monometer this differential monometer youtube monometer is also a same working principle it is called as a hydrostatic equilibrium the monometer operates on the principle of hydrostatic equilibrium where the pressure at any point in the fluid is equal to the pressure due to the weight of that fluid column so here is also same thing so where is the what is the pressure here means if it is a, then it is a zero so if you take this pressure here it is nothing but the weight of this fluid of above that points okay fluid column this is called a fluid column the weight above that point of the fluid column that is nothing but the hydrostatic pressure which is the hydrostatic equilibrium so pressure measure so this working principle of youtube differential monometer pressure measurement how we pressure is measured here so when connected two points here so this differential monometer is connected to two points so it may be same pipe a and b points are different pipes okay two points of the system the difference in pressures between two points causes the monometric fluid to rise so if it is connected like this okay here this left limit is uh, lowered and it is rise because of the pressure difference in the points a and b so here falling and rising 
So left limb falling will be there, and the right limb rising will be there, uh, vice versa, depending upon the pressure difference. So the difference of height in monomatic fluid columns in two limbs directly related to the pressure difference. So whatever this height, so this is the left limb level, this is the right limb level. The difference is H that directly gives the pressure difference between the two systems. So the mathematical expression. So if you want to know the pressure difference, so what is the formula? If you want to measure the only the pressure in your pipe, that is formula is equal to rho g h as per in our previous class. So now it is not the pressure in your pipe, it is the difference of pressures between the two systems. So the formula is here del p is equal to rho m minus rho s into g h. So what is the rho m here? It is the density of monometric fluid. So rho is for density, m is for monometric fluid. So density of monometric fluid, maybe mercury, some uh, mostly. So then here uh, also our rho is the density, s yes, is for system fluid. So system fluid means what are the fluid present in a pipe. Okay. So that is a rho s. Yes. So here it is gh. So here uh, g is acceleration due to gravity, h is the difference of the monometric fluids, level difference. In the special cases, this change in uh, pressure is equal to rho gh if the densities of the fluids in both limbs are equal. So both limbs are equal, that is the oh, example calculation. So if you take the monometric fluid is mercury here, the density of that mercury is 13,600 kg per meter cube. That means if you take uh, one meter cube and fill it with mercury, it weighs 13.6 tons, whereas the water, so another one is uh, uh, pipe in water in the pipe. So the water weight is if you take a one cubic meter, one one meter by one meter one box, then if you fill with water, it only weighs one ton. So whereas mercury weighs 13.6 tons per cubic meter, water is having only one ton per cubic meter. Okay. The height difference given is 0 0.2 meter. So height difference means what? If it is a U tube. Differential monometer, it is a fluid monometric fluid. So the difference of levels is H here, which is here 10.2 uh, 0.2 meter as per this problem. And the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. So pressure difference calculation. Pressure difference calculation is equal to rho m minus rho s. Rho m means density of the uh, monometric fluid mercury is 13,600 kg. Okay, whereas rho s, yes, the system fluid example here uh, given water, it is density is 1000 kg per meter cube. So sometimes these densities uh, will not be mentioned. So they will directly write uh, the monometric fluid is mercury and the system fluid is water. That's it. So they will not give any numbers because these are constants. So if it is not given also, we can take the density of mercury is 13,600 kg per meter cube. And water, in case of water, density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. Those values we have to put here. The acceleration due to gravity is also constant. So they will not give. Now if it is given, then you can take. If it is not given, also you have to take 9.8. And this H definitely they should give. Okay, the difference of uh, monometric fluid levels in both left and right limbs is this given here is 0 0.2. So if it is 0.3, then the answer will be different. If it is 0 0.1, answer will be different. So this is must be one input should be given in that problem. So without giving this, we cannot solve the problem. We can put it as a H otherwise. So, okay, if you do this calculation, 13,600 minus 1000, that means 12,600 into 9.81 into 0 0.2. So then it will become 25,000 Pascals, 25,418 Pascals. So in terms of kilopascals, just divide by 1000. So 
they will become 25.42 kilopascals. Okay. You can see the applications. So, where can you place this differential monitor? Okay. So, if you read this, YouTube dimension monitor is commonly used to measure the pressure drops across walls. So, what are the walls here? Air wall, air relief wall, pressure relief wall, near pipeline. So, there will be some walls here. Okay. So, if you want to measure the difference of pressures, so this point A and point B, or even in a, a venturi meter, okay or r face meter. So, here the difference of two points uh, you can measure. So, uh, power pressure drops. So, what is the drop of the pressure so, uh, across the walls, filters, orifices and other components in a pipeline system. So, if a pipeline system is there, that may have orifice, okay, inside some orifice may be there or inside some Venturimeter is also there. So, this is a venturimeter. And this is a RFIS meter. So, what it may be the component? So, maybe wall filters or other uh, components. So, if you want to know that the uh, present differences, so then YouTube differential monometer can be utilized. And hydraulic engineering. Okay, here monitoring the pressure difference. This is very very important. So in an industry, uh, in the pressure monitoring the pressure. So what is the pressure uh, difference? So it, there may be also meter or face metal or it may be. So if two points are connected, okay, you should the pressure difference should not exceed or should not lower. So in those conditions, we have to always monitor the pressure difference between the two particular points and also we can utilize this YouTube differential monometer to monitor the pressure difference. Always you have to check what is the pressure difference between the two points. So, so that we can lower the pressure or we can make it more pressure depending upon the requirement. So, if it is higher pressure then break will happen, damage to the system will happen. Here, environmental engineering. So, here if you see this, use environmental studies to measure the pressure difference in various fluid systems, including water and air monitoring systems. Just like here, also, environment engineering will also have a monitoring of the pressure difference, whether it means water or air, or other stations, the pressure difference also can be measured. Okay, that is the environment engineering application. So, hydraulic engineering as well as environment engineering, also we can replace this YouTube differential monitor. Advantages what are the advantages here? So, YouTube monometers provide precise measurement of pressure difference. So, accuracy is very high. So, high uh, that means very precise uh, pressure differences we can measure using the YouTube differential monometer. Simplicity is very simple. So, requiring no moving parts or complex mechanisms, no movements are just only YouTube, that's it. We have to correct with the two systems. So, it is a very simple. Rustility can be used with various fluids by selecting appropriate monometer fluids. <laughs> we can use it uh, in any type of fluids okay, because we are having the, uh, so many types of the monometric fluids. So, you can replace for water, you can replace for gases, you can replace for uh, oils. So, whatever it may be, uh, what are the fluid system? Maybe water system or maybe higher pressures, maybe lower pressures, maybe oils, maybe gases. So, whatever it may be, we can utilize this YouTube differential moment. So, if you see the advantages, very precise measurements you can take. It is a very simple equipment and it also you can utilize for any type of systems, maybe gas, maybe oils, maybe flu fluids, okay, like that. Limitations, even though it is having different advantages here, it is having some limitations. So, if it is becoming large, so this YouTube will becoming large here, okay, smaller and larger. So, if you want this high pressure difference, high pressure difference, what will happen if it is a small, 
So initially the fluid will be like this. So after it is because it is a higher pressure difference, the fluid, this fluid monomatic fluid will enter into the system. So if you want to avoid this, you had to put the very large U tube differential monometer. That is one a limitation and fragility. So that means uh, easily damaged because it is a glass. So if you not handle carefully, if it is not handled carefully because it is a glass tube, so it will be easily break, break. Okay, that is called a fragile. And also say temperature sensitive. So here is also another thing is the temperature. So what will happen if the temperature is varied? Okay, density is also varied. So which alter the densities of the fluids. So if the temperature is varied, the densities of the fluids also varied. So then accuracy is affected. Accuracy is affected because of the temperature changes here. So these are the limitations. So one limitation is for higher pressures, okay, it will become a very large device and it is a fragile because it can easily break because it is a glass tube and also temperature sensitivity. So if the temperature changes, then this is also will change, then accuracy will be affected because of this temperature sensitivity. So if you review, so what we learned today, okay, so this is a, a, a differential monometer, YouTube differential monometer, it is just like a normal monometer as uh, this figure, this figure. So one end is connected to the system, another end is open. But whereas here differential monometer, this monometer is connected to the two systems. Here it is a system one and system two. So then we can know the pressure difference between the two systems here. Maybe in the pipelines or hydraulic systems. What? So it is also a monometric device, but it is a YouTube and connected to two systems, not one system here. And it can monitor the pressure difference between the two, uh, two points. So this is a figure. YouTube monometer is having monometric fluid here, red color. Okay. So this one. So if it is connected, both the left limb and right limb are connected to two systems, then we will get the pressure difference. So directly gives the pressure difference here, H difference. And this figure is the venturometer and it is connected to point A and point D. So if you can know the pressure difference between the point A and point D by means of this uh, level difference in the monometric fluid. And construction, if you see the construction, it is nothing but a glass tube and the shape is U shape. Okay. And monumental fluid can be mercury, water, or oil. So depending upon the pressure range. Okay. Here, two ends of the tube are connected to the two different systems, and it is mounted vertically. So as per this, so construction monometric fluid. Uh, if you want to select uh, which type of monometric fluid, so mercury, water, oil, okay. So you have to know the what is the expected pressure difference between the two systems. Then we can select uh, that particular monumental fluid. So for uh, higher densities, uh, you can utilize it for the higher pressure difference. So higher density means here, uh, mercury here. So working principle is hydrostatic equilibrium. That means uh, the pressure at any point is nothing but the weight of that uh, column in the fluid. So preservement, how will you, what is the working principle of your differential monometer means that both the ends of this differential monometer is connected to the two systems and uh, one lift or uh, left limb which rises uh, falls, uh, then uh, right limb it uh, opposite versa. Was, uh, so if it falls in the left limb and it rises in the right limb so that the pressure difference you can measure the difference of height h here okay so h there is nothing but the uh, monometric fluid level differences in uh, left limb and right limb h uh, you can give the difference of pressures directly okay the formula if you see here difference of pressure difference is equal to 
delta p is equal to rho m minus rho s into g h, whereas the rho m is the density of monomotor fluid, rho s is the density of the system fluid. So g is the acceleration into gravity, and small h is the difference of monomotor fluid in the left limb and right limb of the device. Okay. And if you take the example, so rho m is given, that means monometric fluid here is a mercury that 10,600 unit cube, and the fluid system is water, rho s, the density of that particular system fluid is 1000 kg per meter cube, and the difference of levels in the fluid, uh, monometric fluid is 0.2 meter, and acceleration due to gravity is small g is equal to 9.8 meter square. Then for the difference you can calculate using the, the formula delta p is equal to rho m minus rho s into g h. So, rho m is that is monometric fluid mercury density is 13600 minus system fluid is water, no more density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 and monometric fluid uh, level difference is 0.2 then if you do the calculation so you will get here 25408 pascals. So, if you convert into Kilopascals, we have to divide with the 1000 here. So, 25,418 by 1000, you will get the 25.42 kilopascals here. And if you see the applications, so wherever you want to measure the difference of pressures, examples are walls, so before and after walls, and filters, orifices, and other components. If you want to know the difference of pressures, uh, uh, starting of the walls or ending of the walls, before wall and after wall. Before filter, after filter, before our face, after our face, or any other component, before component, or other, after the component. We can measure the, if you want to know the difference of pressures, you can utilize this uh, YouTube differential model that is uh, application in civil engineering. Okay, application in civil engineering, hydraulic engineering, that means uh, monitoring the pressure difference. So, if in any industry, some systems are there. So, if you want to, you have to monitor the present difference. What is the present difference between points A and B? We had continuously monitor that. So, in order to save the equipment or device or system. Okay, that is the hydraulic engineering or also environmental engineering. So, we had to know the present difference. So, present difference, various fluid systems, including water, are its monitoring stations. It is also a monitoring stations. Advantages. So, it is very accurate, very uh, precise uh, for measurements you can get by using this UTV differential monometer and it is very simple because it is just a U-shaped uh, glass tube. So, there is no moving parts, there is another complex me uh, mechanisms here. This is very simple. That's why it is simple, accurate and versatility is also there. You can utilize with any type of fluid systems. So, we can use the higher pressures or lower pressure, whatever it may be. Uh, we can ut utilize this. So, advantages are very precise, very simple, and the versatility is also there. And if you see the limitations, so for high pressures, uh, it will become large, the device will become large one. And it is, uh, other limitation is fragile. That means uh, uh, it is a glass. So, hence you have to handle carefully, otherwise, it will be damaged. And temperature sensitivity also other limitations. If uh, temperature changes are there in the fluid, then automatically the temp difference in densities of the fluids will occur. Hence, the accuracy will be affected here. So, if you see the references, this is a case Subramanian theory and applications of fluid mechanics, Tata Micro Hills 2012. Other references, P Modi, PN, and as some say, the hydraulics and fluid mechanics, standard because 2000. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.